right, so I'm the metrologist. I'm the support team for these. I was going to say guys, but that's the, the collective guys from Martha that includes you, okay, for these guys. Okay, they're the MDs. They've got a tough job. David mentioned a lot about testing, evaluations. So we're going to talk about that. I looked at the CDC website, and I've heard Dr. Berger speak before, and they also avoid the toxins. I went to the CDC website and says, just keep the toxins out. And how are we supposed to do that? Okay. I will show you some data in a second, which is going to horrify you. All right? um, so we need to be able to provide people like Dr. Berger okay, and Martha and other MDs with the ability to help you do that. So let me show you some of the things. So we decided to go to get the, the drugs there. I, we tested over 50 to 100 of these. I am going to tell you only one manufacturer. All the rest will remain secret today. And the only because we have a success. Uh, and that one I'll tell you about, but I'm not going to tell you about all the failures. So we looked for chrome 3, chrome 6. We looked for mercury and lead and uranium. Yes, uranium. Okay. This is a current um, prenatal supplement. These are like, uh, there's 13 of, the, 14, 13 of them here. This coming, and this is log scale. What does log scale mean? Log scale means this goes up by 10, by 10 more. Okay, so this is, because I couldn't put these. These would be up here if I did it on a linear scale. This is Proposition 65, what's allowed in California. I'm not going to get into all of that because I've looked at the CDC, I've looked at uh, the World Health Organization, I've looked at all these others, the EPA, I'm just going to use this one. Now, what are we doing at roughly one and a half orders of magnitude up here in a prenatal vitamin, okay, for heaven's sakes? Uh, this is ridiculous. This is lead. This is cadmium, okay? All of these, not a single one, okay, would be legal to sell in California, all right? Prenatal, this is not the normal vitamin. The normal vitamins were better than this. I could tell this particular company has two factories, and this one factory that does the prenatals out of control. I don't know where they're getting this stuff, off the floor? Uh, uranium, what are we doing with uranium, okay, at uh, this, you know, two times, two orders of magnitude above what it's allowed to have in it, um, in a prenatal vitamin. This makes no sense to me. How are you going to work, David? How, what are you going to recommend? Okay, aluminum. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's switch. Now, this, for example, shows you things that you use. Here's a calcium supplement, magnesium, zinc supplement, a multivitamin. Okay, essential fatty acid supplement. They're different colors. Okay. Here's uranium. Okay. Tin, lead, cadmium, chromium. Uh, arsenic, for heaven's sake, arsenic, it's out here somewhere, okay? This scared the crap out of me. Now, I got called in to do this because my children are out being treated because the, the autistic children are still being treated by the doctors, right? So I said, how can I be looking for these things in their blood when you're giving them to them, okay? Well, we don't actually use any of those, okay? I, the only company I will tell you is this one. We've been working for two years with them, and yeah, it was the screensaver when we started, okay? And a lot of hard work went into this, okay? So that you don't have that stuff in the, the supplements. You can't have it there. So I don't want to hear from the supplement company, oh, it can't be done. I've heard that. Oh, it, we just, we have billions of products, we, we can't test them all. Why not? The question that I'm asked to consider is, uh, why preconception? Why is this important and how does this uh, affect what I do and how do I see this particular conference as its importance and its mission to some degree? And all I can say is as a scientist, I'm a hardcore uh, analytical chemist, analytical and biochemistry, bioanalytical. The data that we're producing right now points uh, completely towards the fact that we don't need to be in a situation. We don't need to have a continually asymptotic climbing uh, population of affected children, children which are damaged coming out of the womb or damaged in the first few years of life because they've uh, been sailorly damaged. <clears throat> We're not meant to have that happen. We can reverse it, we can stop it, we can prevent it, uh, and nothing is more important. Rather than having to fix the problem, as my uh, grandmother always said, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If we don't have the problem, we won't have to fix it. The scientific data that we're producing gives us the means to evaluate and to uh, determine uh, what some of the problems are and then to uh, reverse them and prevent them. So prevention is probably the most important thing we can do rather than trying to fix it after it's happened.